is when I rang from Detroit, Michigan. He is the alpha male, Monty Brown. The alpha male returned to TNA back in March, and quite honestly, Monty Brown, the former NFL linebacker with the New England Patriots and Buffalo Bills, has been unstoppable and undefeated. He confronted Vince Russo and Free Life Crew last Wednesday. Things got physical. Tonight, the big game hunter, Monty Brown, looks to add another trophy to his case. BG James is the man in his crosshairs, and he wants the microphone. Cut that crap off! Firstly, for all you wide-eyed animals out there, it's not wabbit season, and it's not dog season. It's open season on those three hyenas out there. And the more I look at Beach, Brian James, I think you might be a giraffe with those spindly little legs. So why don't you bring your little giraffe self out here and get the pounce, period. You are my sunshine. And his opponents. Sunshine. This mother is a bad girl. Well, you have to question whether BG James may be taking his opponent tonight too lightly, and here we go. Match jump started, and BG James and Monty Brown fighting it out on the ramp. Donna was thinking back to last week. Monty Brown coming down, crashing. Three live crews in ring discussion with Vince Russo. But when BG James claimed that Monty Brown hadn't beaten anybody in, in TNA, I think that BG was overlooking Monty Brown's unbeaten streak. Oh, absolutely. And I'm going to tell you something. I first heard about this match. I even went to BG James. I said, are you not worried? Look at this guy. But BG James says, Don, I've got more experience on my little finger than he has on his whole body. So that's what he's going to rely on, his no, experience. Well, there's no but he's question about that. To. No question about that experience, Edge. But, I mean, Monty Brown, what was the number that he gave us as far as his body fat? Oh, it was like, like 2% or something like that. It's some, some crazy number. I'll tell you what, last week when, when B.G. James was talking and someone mentioned the word brown noses, you see B.G. James pounding him on the head with the garbage can. I, I thought I thought Monty Brown was paranoid coming up thinking they're talking about him. He's actually smart as a fox because he used that to be able to get in there and work him another match and move his way up the ladder. Exactly. He moved his way right into this situation for this matchup with B.G. James. It, it really hasn't been a wrestling match. It's been just a brawl as it has spilled the TNA oh. Asylum and BG James sent face first. Right in the steps. Right, right in the, the bleachers. Yeah, right in the bleachers. Oh, oh man, as he caught him with the garbage can lid. I'm going to tell you what, BG James needs to be the one giving those garbage can shots instead of receiving because you're not going to brawl with this guy. You are not going to brawl with the alpha male. We've seen him brawl with the biz. We've seen him brawl with Seth Blue. We've seen him brawl with the best of them. Yeah, Look, that, he's got a table in that extreme rules match that he had with Seth Blue. You're right. BG James may be falling right into Monty Brown's trap as Monty Brown, the alpha male, is setting up a table. Oh, man, BG James now has got to take advantage and somehow get Monty Brown into it if he can. Look at Monty Brown, though, in total control right now. The power, the strength of the former NFL oh. linebacker against the experience, and there was the wily veteran out of nowhere using that trash can lid. What's BG James doing? He's taking him up the steps. Up to the balcony? Tell you what, if you could throw him off there in the table, that might be a way to end it. The second level here at the TNA Asylum, oh. Monty Brown trying to fight back. Look at this, they're going all the way up to the top. Way to the top of the building. It's risky, BG James. That's mighty risky. That's a long fall from there. Exchange of punches, and then Monty Brown just overpowers BG. Who shoots right him off. The yeah, back first right in to the bleachers. right now. They're, they're going to be casting the war here in a minute. They'll get out of the way. Oh, no, you got it. Oh, BG James stopped it. Got his foot up on the rail just in time and levels up with a great right. Another great right. Very fortunate for BG James to be able to put on the brakes, but now you see the exchange continue. Monty Brown getting the better of it. Good move by BG James. Try to get down from there. Level as you see Monty Brown, though, catches up with him and takes him down. Another one to the back of the head. Referee Andrew Thomas showing plenty of leeway in this matchup. Are you going to get in the middle of Monty Brown when he's out there? To... No, are you kidding? <laughs> I'll give them all the leeway they want. And 
Well, that time, B.G. James stopped just as he was going to go face first right into the bleachers. Now he's got Brown. But he's reversed. B.G. shot off into the wall. Look at, look at James fight back. Well, nice kick right there by B.G. James. He's got him. as if it was a desperation move by James to powerbomb the alpha male directly through the table. But you, you saw that the, it, all, all of that power that he exerted, BG James, ah! went down at the same time as you see the replay on the right-hand side. Let's go back live. Well, BG James has got to be tired, not after just picking him up there, but after the beat, he's been taken by Monty Brown. BG James, though, has got to take control of it right now. He's got Monty Brown hurting. He just took a wicked blow. This is the chance, and see, he took too long. And Monty Brown just comes right back. Monty Brown back on the oh. assault, back on the attack. Punches, elbows, clearing out fans, clearing out security from around the safety rail. Oh, and he just crotched James right on the steel. Oh, catches him there with a right hand blow right in the face. Another one. Oh, man, grabbing chairs. Turning not, over oh. chairs, flipping chairs. That's not a good spot to be in, BG James. This could, this could, yeah, especially when oh, he oh, 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 leg. Oh, 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 and again, directing oh, the attack oh, right into the, to the knee that knee. time. Yes, right into the knee. And you can see BG James is in severe pain. Vicious chair shots to the left knee of BG James has turned him into a really a one legged man at this point against Monty Brown. Oh, Monty Brown, you see right there catching him. Catching him in the back of the head. Oh my gosh. And now taking James, tossing him over the safety rail. BG James has got to get some kind of a buffer zone where he can regroup right here. Money Brown is just, oh, look at that, right into the rail. Yeah, you can almost sense it at this point as if the alpha male, Monty Brown, who goes big game hunting. Almost as if he feels like his prey has been injured and he can take advantage of BG James because of the damage that he inflicted to his left knee. Oh, BG James, you can see, can barely stand up. And he's trying to. It's going to be wobbly here. He's trying to maintain that vertical base, but as soon as he uses the ropes even to get back up to his feet, he's cut off by Monty Brown. Got, worked right on that same left knee right there. As you can see, he was kicking right into it. And he's been doing damage on, and there it is again. Look at that. Really favoring the leg and the oh. knee, but he's fighting back. He's got to call upon all the experience that he's got from all of his years of wrestling, all of his tag team years and everything that he can muster. And I just don't know that he's got it left in him. And oh, no, oh, there's, there's the pounce. It. There's the pounce by Monty Brown. Here's the cover. Got One, the leg hook. Two. two. No. The winner of the match, the Alpha Male. Continues for the alpha male. He remains unbeaten here in TNA. Well, BG James said he hadn't fought anybody. Well, he just fought BG James, and you saw that result. BG James just wait a minute again. Monty Brown wanting more. He wants more. It's over. Oh, come on. Working on that knee. Look at this. Sneaks out that left knee of James. Drives the steel chair directly in it. Here comes the other members of the crew. Oh, you know they were going to have BG's back. Ron the Truth Killings and Conan, very fortunately for BG James, come out to make the save, but Monty Brown remains unbeaten. There you see Pat Kenny obviously waiting for the NYC's. Don, nobody's seen.